Hello everyone, so first off I want to apologize, it's been a while since I posted to the channel, especially my last Star Wars video, I've been busy with client work, I had just finished a really big project, and again finished another wedding video, but I want to do a quick video about the Star Wars canon material they've gotten in the past couple months, and I've been really enjoying what I've been experiencing with the novels, I just picked up Jedi Fallen Order, really, really loving that, and of course The Mandalorian is just killing it right now, they're only three episodes in, and I'm totally hooked especially since after the rise of skywalker we're not going to get a movie until 2022 and when that news first came out i was very upset i was like oh my god i want a star wars movie every year i want december to be about christmas and Star Wars. That's all I want in December. But now that the Mandalorians come out and there's some really great stuff happening in the novels and it's now Jedi Fallen Order, I hope we have another video game like that next year or in, in between the next couple movies. I'm thinking that there's enough out there with the canon materials to keep my Star Wars like need satisfied because especially with how big of a hit that Mandalorian is now with casting Andor coming out, the announcement of the Obi-Wan series and they've already greenlit the second season of the Mandalorian there's enough Star Wars for me to be satisfied and not and that two year wait will go by so so fast however what I really want to focus on in this video is the way that canon material outside of the films especially the saga films are tying each other together with other uh, forms of canon you'll see some characters from one book jump into an into another novel or jump into another canon material altogether and what i love is that they they'll either do it in a way that it's really subtle and i'll do it in a line like oh that's from that one book or they'll take that one character and meld them into like a major story point of the of the thing that you're reading or playing or watching and it does it so well that it's like things like that like ken jungs like me will just geek out all over but to the casual fan it'll just be this little thing that they just mentioned and they'll, they'll know that it's part of the, the lore of Star Wars. But however, I'm wondering why the films don't do more. This is especially the saga films because the standalone films do have a couple of references. Uh, Rogue One has a reference to Re Rebels. Uh, saga Gerrera made the jump from Clone Wars into to um, Rogue One as a live action character. And of course, Solo has Darth Maul at the, at the very end. And I completely understand giving filmmakers the freedom to tell the stories that they want and put their spin on a Star Wars movie. But I think The Mandalorian is a perfect example of the mere mention of a character or an event is enough to satisfy fans like me. And the novels do this extremely well because several characters and events will jump over in to the major story beats of a novel and for a while there in hollywood the thing to do was a shared universe obviously with marvel and dc a freaking universal tried it with their dark universe that failed the first movie but for the longest time shared universe was like the thing to do and star wars has it built in the the unique thing about star wars is post disney's purchase is everything counts unless specified otherwise anything that happens in a book if should and will affect anything else that any other story wants to be told and i wish that it would be more of canon would influence the movies and not the other way around it seems like writers of like a book or a comic book or, or any other um, canon material would get like the major story points of the movie that's about to come out or it just came out and they're like oh okay that's interesting let's spin off and tell a story there and i just i really wish instead of that happening i wish like the newer films coming out would look at the canon overall get with a story group or something and and look at hey that's something cool let's bring that into our film and sort of try to incorporate that into the movie and obviously it's a little too late for it to change anything in the rise of skywalks the movie's basically just sitting there waiting to be released i mean john williams just finished the score to it as of this recording i, I believe it was yesterday that was reported that he's finished scoring the movie but the, the is this movie has been just set up perfectly by resistance reborn because they're gathering all these pilots and all these these uh resistance members into that book and from all over canon and it doesn't even have to be a big role either it could be a throwaway like shot of some random resistance pilot my head would explode if at the very end of the movie we had a giant space battle poe dameron's leading the charge and he calls for all wings to report in and we get pilots from like the aces or Phantom Squadron Colin and have Wedge Antilles back in an X-Wing um, helping out Poe Dameron. That would be so 
awesome and rewarding for fans like me. Just because like, oh, I watched them in that show. I read them in that book. That's so cool. And I, I'm the chances of that happening are very low in my opinion. I don't. It's very doubtful that they'll do it. But I'm just hoping they that J.J. Abrams does something like this. Just not only to tie the last nine saga films together, just all, all trill, just tying all the trilogies together, but just to tie all of canon together. I think that would be awesome. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and share. And consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Thank you as always for watching and may the force be with you.